So there are a couple of things you need to know about this new Thunder. Daytime LED running lights, as I said. Um, it's got normal LED lights too, which are pretty cool. And these things are called nostrils, which are now red over here. And they've done a revised honeycomb grill. So that kind of gives the whole front of the Ranger like a bit of a new kind of a fresher look. Of course, I want to be sure that you know it's a Thunder. So it says Thunder over there. It says Thunder over there. And it says Thunder over there. You know, just in case you weren't sure that um, you bought a Thunder. Then a few quick other things that make the Thunder the Thunder. Here's, you've got black mirrors there and you've got the black 18 inch wheels. And this kind of gray color, I know it's a bit dirty because I was in the mountains, but this kind of gray color really works with kind of the darker and having all the red accents stand out. This hoop is standard on the wild track, so they've left it on the Thunder, except they put the um, red decals on the Thunder. Okay, and then we've got a bunch of stuff going on in the back here. So this is kind of assisted. I mean, this thing's heavy, but it doesn't feel heavy to open at all. Okay, and then in the back, you've got this thing over here, which is a cargo management system. There's a knob over here that you turn, and on this side that you turn, and then the cargo management system actually slides up and down like that. So the cargo management system, you can actually divide the load bed into two different areas and two different sizes, depending on the kind of load that you're carrying. Then you've got this mountain top, it actually says mountain top over there, roller system. So it's got this leash so that you can pull it closed if you're on this side of the bucky and you don't actually have to reach in. What is cool about this system is that if you pull it, it actually locks at certain areas. So over there it locks in combination with the cargo management system and this thing kind of half locked, you could actually put stuff in there and have it relatively secure. Move this back a bit and then tighten that. You can kind of have a half closed bay and still have this section open. Or you can pull it over there and lock it, or you can just pull it all the way and lock it like that. It's lockable with a key over here so that nobody can get in. And then obviously when you close that and you lock the car, that locks too, and now the entire system is completely secure. So I remember complaining about this in my wild track video, where like you have a bucky, you've got all this load space in the back, but it's not like practical. It's just like this big gaping void that anything you put in there is gonna get lifted at a robot or blown away. And like this in the Thunder is actually practical. It really, really works. Okay, but let's take a look at some of the exclusivity that lives in the front of this Thunder. So first off, like the interior is largely the same as the Wild Track. You've got an 8-inch screen there, which is actually a little bit bigger than some of the other cars. But you've got the leather up here, as I said earlier. And there's red stitching there. There's red stitching on the steering wheel. There's leather around the brake. There's leather around the gear lever. There's a lot of leather and a lot of red stitching in this car, which is actually really nice. Screen obviously supports Android Auto and CarPlay, as I've said earlier. And the really busy multifunctional steering wheel, which controls all the electronics over there. This is a well-equipped car from like a tech perspective. It's got, so it's got everything you need in here, including adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, and a whole bunch of safety features. Like once or twice a car pulled in front of me, the brakes go on, it actually slows the car down. So there's a whole bunch of driving tech in here, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping assist, collision avoidance. It's all packed into this car, it all comes standard. So of all the double cab buckies I've driven in the last couple of years, I have to say this is probably my favorite. It's got a good collection of tech, great assortment of features, and it just looks on point. Like the dark colors with the red accents, absolutely love it.